I'd say I was disappointed in you two, but I think you already know that. Oh, come on, Master. How could you be disappointed in this face? I just am. Most days I am, actually. I think he's talking about us setting the cloning facilities on fire, Sky Guy. Well, maybe the clones shouldn't have been so flammable. We wouldn't have had a problem. Over 2,000 troops are in medical care for your mistake. And we feel really guilty about it, Master. But what can we do? Anakin, how did this even happen? I don't recall being flammable to be part of a clone's genetic DNA. I don't know the specifics, but it's not arson. It was just a mistake. It turns out Anakin has a talent for turning any situation into a barbecue. Don't pin it all on me, Snips. It was your lightsaber that caused the fire. Your skills are truly unparalleled. Setting clone troopers ablaze, what a remarkable achievement, the both of you. See, Master? I knew you'd appreciate my unique talents. Anyway, at least nobody died. Not yet, at least. Perhaps we should get on with our show. We got our work cut out for us this time. I suppose you're right. The world between worlds isn't going to fix itself. Whose turn is it to find the guest anyway? Unfortunately, I believe it's your turn, Anakin. But please, try to find someone sane that can help us. Sure. Whatever. I'll be back. Master, I wanted to ask you something without Anakin around. Of course, Ahsoka. What's on your mind? Yoda said that prophecies can be misread. So what if Anakin wasn't meant to be the chosen one? I'm listening. I've been trying to translate it, and I think it might have said frozen bun. I'm not sure I follow. Hear me out, Master. Maybe Anakin's true destiny is to bring balance to the galaxy by opening a bakery chain specializing in frozen cinnamon buns. I've heard you say a lot of stupid things, Ahsoka, but I think this one takes the cake. Is that a pun? No, that's not... Uh, well, I suppose it was. Not intended. But seriously, you know what they say, Master? A well-fed galaxy is a peaceful galaxy. Let's just keep this to ourselves. We wouldn't want to distract him from perfecting his cinnamon bun recipe. Guys, I'm back from the world between worlds. You should have seen this poor girl. She was on Tatooine, in the middle of all that sand. I had to save her. Uh, hi. Who are you? I'm Anakin. You're smoking hot, by the way. Uh, thanks. Really, Anakin? You're married. I can still appreciate a person's beauty, Master. I'm Ahsoka. This is Obi-Wan. Who are you? Oh my goodness, you're all Jedi. Legendary Jedi at that. I'm Rey. Ray Skywalker. Skywalker? Oh, great. Why am I sexually attracted to all of my... Well, you're not my child. I only have two that we know of. So what are you? A granddaughter. This is amazing. I love meeting my family. Well, not exactly. I'm not your blood. I, I took the name because I wanted to honor my masters. I never really had a family. Oh, that's unfortunate. I thought you were a real Skywalker. It's just a name, Anakin. Besides, the last thing we needed was two of them in a row. Ray, I'm not sure if you fully understand the weight and complexity that comes with being associated with Anakin Skywalker. It can't be that bad now, can it? It's worse. So much worse. <laughs> This is unreal. All of you are here. How is this possible? You're all dead in my time. Is this time travel? Not exactly. It's more of a multiverse thing. Amazing. I have so many questions. You can help me train the next generation of Jedi. Okay, sure. But first, what were you doing on Tatooine? It's not a place you should be going to for a vacation, I imagine. It was kind of the last stop in my journey. I just built my new lightsaber, so I didn't need my old one anymore. I buried it in the desert. Whoa, whoa, you buried a lightsaber in sand? Yeah, and actually, I think it might have been yours. Or Luke's, but yours before his. Anakin, are you okay? Should we get- I'll fucking kill you! I'll gut you like the fucking raw- Anakin, calm down! Let me at her! I'll fucking kill you! I've never seen him so angry. Your days are numbered, girl. They're fucking numbered! Let's restrain him, quick! I- I'm sorry. I didn't think that- It's not your fault, dear. You couldn't have known. Ahsoka, give him the pill. Open up, Anakin. No! You can't make me! Let me go! I want to tear the flesh from her bones! If you don't take this medicine right now, I'm calling Padme and we'll see how she handles it. Come on, Anakin, just do it. Fine. Uh, I'm sorry, Ray. Got a little carried away there. It's all right. I didn't realize you felt so strongly about that. I was just trying to honor my masters. They even looked at me with approval as force ghosts. It's just... Why on Tatooine? Why not somewhere nice, like Alderaan? I love that planet, and my daughter grew up there. Uh, well, about that? Oh, or Ilum. It's like the Jedi Sanctuary, where we all got our kyber crystals. It would be kind of poetic. Uh, yeah, about that, guys. There's also this really nice place in the Hosnian system I visited one time. I think I want to be laid to rest there. Better than a slave planet. 
Okay, now you're just messing with me. Why? What do you mean? Those planets don't exist anymore. Any of them. They were all destroyed by the First Order, or the Empire before it. Destroyed? How can a planet be destroyed? I mean, technically, we're the ones who destroyed Ilum. Okay, why the hell would the good guys destroy a planet, much less one that is sacred to the Jedi? Well, the First Order turned it into a planet killer. It was either Star Killer Base or another system. Star Killer Base? Is that what they called it? Yeah, pretty bad name if you ask me. Oh, I was gonna say I thought it was cool. Would make a pretty badass Sith name too. We're talking about the murder of millions of innocents, dude, including children. Sounds delightful. That's horrible. I can't even imagine something that bad. I can, like burying my lightsaber in the fucking sand. Anakin, stay calm. I'm calm, Master. I'm calm. I'm just not gonna let that go. Look, when I get back, I'll dig the lightsaber up and bury it somewhere else. Okay, where? I'll let you choose, since you seem to care so much. How about, uh, I don't know. I'm not good at these sort of things. Just forget about it. Ray, you said you were training a new generation of Jedi? Yeah, there's not many left. The task is left to me to rebuild. Well, what can we do to help? I've heard of all of you. You and Anakin are very powerful Jedi. I'm sure you can do something. What about me? I'm the Jedi Master here. You're a Jedi Master? Seriously? Aren't you the guy who went viral on the holonet because of that video of you shaving your ass? Uh, I, I don't know what you're... Uh, no comment. There's no way. Ray, show me the link right now and I'll forgive you for everything. I'm pulling out my holodeck. Uh, yeah. It should be titled Sexy Bearded Stud Gets His Butt Shaved by an Exotic Clone Trooper. Don't ask how I know that. You, how did that go viral? I don't know. Somehow it escaped all the NSFW filters. Oh my Lucas, here it is. Ahsoka, you have to see this. She really doesn't. Oh wow, Cody really got in there. Anakin, shut that thing off. We're supposed to be making a video. A video, huh? You want me to get the razor and recreate the scene? I'm serious. I'll do it. I wasn't really hoping to meet up with old Jedi to shave their ass. Well, this is 99% of what being a Jedi is all about. Interesting. I'll write that down. Any other stuff you can tell us? I mean, I just know you were there for me when I defeated Palpatine. I heard your voices and I felt your presence. You defeated Palpatine? Nonsense. I already did that. It might not have happened in her timeline, Anakin. It did, actually. He just came back from the dead, somehow. How does someone somehow come back from the dead? We couldn't look into it much. Something with cloning and essence transfer. We just had to focus on defeating him. Sounds scary. How do you manage to defeat him? Well, all the Jedi of the past channeled their power through me, and together we deflected his Sith lightning back into his body. So, you're saying you brought balance to the Force by yourself? What? No, did you not hear a word I just said? I had help. Like, a lot of help. Yeah, I don't really think you can be mad about that one, Anakin. All considered, Palpatine's return was pretty short. It lasted like 48 hours. It was kind of pathetic, really. Sounds like you've gone through a lot, Ray. Tell me about it. I've had quite the eventful last couple years, and I had to fend for myself on a desert planet for like 15 years. Sounds like a skill issue. Anakin, didn't you have a similar experience? He got to be raised by his mother, not quite fending for himself. Hey, I was a slave. That's much worse. So was I in all but name. I had to serve Unkar Plot for scraps of food. Well, aren't you just little Miz I had it worse? Well, it isn't like that. I'm sorry. I'm just trying to make conversation. Who cares who had it worse? A horrible past is just that. The past. Don't let it define who you are right now. Wise words, Ahsoka. It's good to hear you say something like that. Gives me hope Anakin isn't the worst teacher ever. I may not be the best teacher, but at least I don't shave my ass and post the video publicly. It was never meant to go public! So do you all know what Anakin becomes? That he turns into the Sith Lord Darth Vader? So we've heard. I'm having my doubts, though. Killing a couple younglings every weekend doesn't make a guy a Sith now, does it? Well, there's a lot more to life than just killing younglings. Uh, not really. It's the only thing that gets me going. You should try it. A real Skywalker would. I find your lack of imagination disturbing, Anakin. Hey, that's my line. There's a saying that goes, imitation is the sincerest form of flattery. Yeah, and there's a saying that goes, I'll fuck your mom. Right back at you, Anakin. You know my mom is dead. I said what I said. Is this really what the Jedi of the past were like? Yeah, you got a problem with that, Ray? Not exactly. I'm just a bit disturbed, to be honest. Not the conversation I was expecting. Well, what would you want to talk about? So, I'm kind of at the start of my own Jedi training still. I have all these old Jedi texts to help me, but I don't really know where to begin finding students. 
Well, the Jedi usually take babies and train them from there. They kidnap children like the First Order. Well, we ask permission first. Don't kid yourself, Obi-Wan. It's not like the parents really have a choice. Nobody ever says no. That's because becoming a Jedi is a great honor, Anakin. I'm not sure I want to just grab babies. I'm not much of a motherly figure. Well, you don't want to grab anyone too old. They grow attachments and become erratic and dangerous, like Anakin. Hey, I'm not erratic or dangerous. Uh, didn't you try to kill me a few minutes ago? You had it coming. Okay, noted. No older recruits. Maybe you could have some, but make sure to properly vet them first. I don't even think the Council wanted Anakin to join the Order in the first place. Master Qui-Gon talked them into it. I wish you could have met him, Ray. He'd appreciate your dedication to the cause. I appreciate that. I really do want to help the galaxy and the future of the Jedi. Hey, by the way, since you're a Jedi from the future, do you know what we could do to fix a problem we're having with the world between worlds? That's the portal thing I came from, right? Yeah, it's been getting these weird cracks. Nothing like that had been documented in the Jedi texts. It was said to be strictly off limits. It's too dangerous to play around with. Jeez, what's with all the Skywalkers of the future being such fucking nerds? You think so? What's with the Skywalker of the past being such a whiny loser? Careful there, Ray. You don't want to upset him. I think I can handle myself. I think you can choke on this lightsaber. I'll have you know I can choke on it, and I'll be just fine. Uh, what? Yep, I don't even have a gag reflex. That came out wrong. My point stands. You don't want this saber going down your throat. You want to go? Let's go, tough guy. You and me. Oh, what the hell, man? There, now you don't have a hand. You're happy. Now you're really a Skywalker. Thanks. I guess, shit, did it have to hurt so much? Well, I'm surprised you didn't kill her. But grateful, of course. Fan service, Master. I didn't enjoy it. But the people demand- Stop being meta, Anakin. Stop interrupting me, Snips. Unless you want to choke on this lightsaber next. That's what I thought. Well, since we have nothing better to try, you better bring her back to her portal. I'll be nice and not put her back in the sand, even though she deserves it. There, I hear Mustafar is lovely this time of year. Even burning hot lava is better than sand. This was a tricky episode. How do you guys feel about it? Fine, I suppose. Although I'm nervous we're running out of time in the world between worlds. Like the video and subscribe if you enjoyed. Comment something about fruit if you made it this far. Later!